so we have been playing for a little bit, and Erica, our dear tyrant, uh, has a little plan she'd like to put into motion. All right, so the warden, the warden is quite the problem. Um, I think it's probably time for us to just be done with him. So I, I have a move for being a tyrant that says, when you give your group orders, draw savagery. So I want to order my people, like, while we're all eating the food we, we got. Right. I want to send them to just go take care of the warden. Like, he's already drunk. Like, he's, he might be sleeping. Is he, like, you have a scarcity of privacy. Is he the only person who has his own little space? Yeah, like, oh, like he still has, like, his office, right? Great. So, like, so like yeah, we saw him earlier, right? He's so in his like, office. We, like, I'm just going to send them to just go take care of them, and I'll send, Great. I'll send, you know, all of them, so there's four of them and one of him. Great. Percy, Leo, Sally, and Fatima. Yeah, we'll just Great. be like, this is what we got to do. Okay, so when you trigger a move and it says draw whatever, uh, you are going to be pulling from this deck, the survivor deck. Okay. You are going to be pulling a number of cards equal to the stat it tells you to draw. So it said draw savagery. I have a three in savagery. So you're going to draw three cards. Okay. And then you're going to look for the best of the three cards. Okay. The best is a triumph. That's okay. the best you can possibly hope to get. Yes, it's on a triumph. I get all three, all this good stuff. Yes. Yeah. You might get an edge, which is a little bit less, but it's still generally okay. I only get one thing. Right. Okay. You might get a miss, in which case I get to say what happens. Okay. It'll, it'll be fine. Yeah. And you might get an opportunity, which gives you a chance to pay stress to make it a triumph. Okay. Okay. It's the best card. Yeah, a triumph uh, is the best card. The, the best. Yeah, I mean, I get the best card out of what I draw. Yes. All right, yeah. cool. All right. Okay. So you get three cards. Okay. One. That's a miss. Two. That is also a miss. That is also a miss. So it'll, my best card is a miss. It'll be fine. Okay. It'll be fine. Thank you. We do reshuffle this deck every time we draw to make sure that the balance of cards is the same. Okay. But... In the meantime, <clears throat> so you you hung back to eat your food while your minions went to accomplish your work. Yeah, I figured I would, it would attract less attention if Great. I stayed here. Yeah, uh, so you are um, eating, the, you know, just the baked beans that you got from that store, and suddenly Sally comes running in uh, to the cafeteria where everybody else is, and she. Go, beeline straight for you. There's already blood spattered across her face. Oh no! And and she's like, you, Erica, you, you have to come. You have to come. He already shot Percy. He's got Leo. He's he he's. I don't know. Yeah, I just I just um, I just follow her. Right? Like she's, yeah. Like she's well. I don't even try to calm her down or anything. I just I just run. Um, and I uh, I grab. I mean, do I like do I have a weapon or something? Sure. Yeah. You have an armory, so it's entirely plausible everybody here probably has a gun. Okay, yeah, so I grab my gun and I and I head off down the hall to follow. Great. Excellent. Uh what about you? Um yeah, I would like to follow her too so that she doesn't murder people. Yeah, that checks out. Uh so there's actually a whole crowd of people following you as you head back. Alright, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it. That's fine. Like they can follow me. I'm gonna I'm gonna if this way we'll just get this done. Okay. I, I'm ready for it. It's time. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. So you arrive uh, right outside the warden's office where he is standing there with a shotgun held in one hand and a bottle of Jack in the other. At his feet is the body of Leo. Percy is kneeling in front of him. And every now and then he makes sure to point that shotgun down at Percy. Fatima is there trying to talk him down. Yeah. Just put down the gun. Just put down the gun. Everything's fine. Nothing's wrong. You, you misheard. But it's not working. He is yelling. He is pissed. You assholes want me dead. You've wanted me dead since you have gotten here. And it won't happen. What do you do? All right, so I, I, if, uh, if he's kind of like a little off balance, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna raise my weapon and I'm gonna say, um, Edgar, put the fucking gun down right now. Okay, that sounds to me like you're trying to get in his face. Yeah, like I'm not giving him a reason. Like, right. like the, well, the reason is I. I mean, well, I'm going to shoot you. You're going right? to shoot, shoot you. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. So it says, 
when you get in somebody's face, draw savagery. So I can draw my three cards, which will hopefully not be three pieces. On a hit, they have to choose mark stress and escalate or concede. Um, on a triumph, you take plus one forward against them if they escalate or you suffer harm. Okay. Right. For an NPC, it's worth noting early, marking stress is catastrophic. Okay. It means that he's broken as okay. a human. Cool. Right. So... Three cards. Whereas you can mark multiple. Ah, oh, miss. Come on. <laughs> no, it doesn't miss. Ah, ha, ha, ha. An opportunity. Okay. Okay, so this says, it counts as a triumph if you mark a stress. Uh, yes, I will definitely mark a stress. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a miss. So I will take I will take that. So on a triumph, uh, I take plus one forward, and he has to mark stress or conceit. Why is this so stressful for you? Because he, as you say stuff, he points that gun right at you. Yeah, like, I'm I'm actually, like, less worried about him pointing it at me, but, like, he's, like, waving around around yeah. Percy, and, like, I like I already I feel bad that Leo's probably dead, and, like, I don't want to see any of these other people get hurt. Like, this was supposed to reduce the number of people that got hurt, not lead to more people getting hurt. Yeah, and this is sort of this guilt. Almost. Yeah, I feel totally terrible about this. Excellent, okay. Uh, but, so that is a triumph. You take plus one forward against him, and he must back down, or mark his stress. Yeah. Uh, I mean, at that... He sort of, there's a moment where it looks like he may lift that gun, pull that trigger, and then he just breaks down sobbing, and the bottle falls from his hands and crashes against the floor, and, and he falls to his knees. I didn't mean to do it, he just he had a knife and he's coming towards me. What do you do? I, I go look at Leo, like, is he, is he alive, is he dead, I want to know. And that's where I'm going to go. At the moment, he is breathing very shallowly, but blood is seeping out of multiple holes in his torso. Uh, we don't have a medical <laughs> You did not choose to take the infirmary. No, we have guns instead. That was a good choice. Yes. <laughs> well, we have all these guns, but... All right, uh, yeah, so like... Maybe I want to assess a bad situation. Like, I want to look sure. around and see, like, how bad is this? Is it possible to get him out? Sure. Is that reasonable? Okay. So, um, it says, when you assess a bad situation, draw a steal. I'll try and fast two. I'm going to adjust one. So, there's some questions I get to ask. Yep. Um, okay. I have two for steal. So Excellent. Start. So, you get two cards. Miss. Triumph. Excellent. So, you get to ask two questions. Okay. Um, I'm going to say here... What is most useful to my allies? Like, what's gonna, what's the most useful thing around that I can use to try to keep Leo alive? Hmm. Well, that bottle just smashed against the floor, so you can't really use that as makeshift uh, and prompt you medical supplies. But there is a first aid kit in the warden's office. Okay. That he's always made sure to keep for himself. All right. So it might not be enough. It's a first aid kit. It's yes. not like a medical thing. But, all right. Um. What's my best escape route? Like, how can I get Leo out of here? Because you said there's a lot of people now, right? Like, yes. we attracted quite the crowd. Okay. I don't really think I want to murder this guy in front of this crowd. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you definitely want to murder him. Maybe I do want to murder him in front of the crowd. But I haven't decided. <laughs> but, but let me get out of here first. Like, let's see if we can get Leo out of here. Turning their attention to Leo will do it because he's a guy who is fairly well liked in the colony as a whole, in the enclave as a whole. Okay. If they focus primarily on trying to make sure this man doesn't die, they will get him out of here, get him what attention they can. Okay. Um, all right, well, uh, I'm not very good at, at getting... I, I'm good at getting people to do what I want when I threaten them. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I'll ask someone for help. Like, what do you do? I like Leo. He's nice. He's dying on the floor. He is. It would be like, I'm going to grab, like, there's someone who has rudimentary medical skills, right? Probably. Sure. Chris claimed they have. Does Opal have rudimentary? Yeah, medical? she actually totally doesn't on her skill for <laughs> Well, she may still have rudimentary, to yeah. your point, rudimentary yeah. first aid is different from actually having deep medical that's skills. That's true. But. That's true. She did tell me that one time she pulled a bullet out of her own leg. Yeah. So right, good. Yeah, she's, okay. probably, she's probably good with this. Okay, I'm going to ask a friendly or neutral NPC for help. That's Opal. And say, can you please help us get Leo into a stable condition? Excellent. Okay. And what does that move say? What do you draw? When you ask a friendly or neutral NPC for help, draw a soul. On a triumph, they do what you want if you give them a brighter motive. On an edge, the GM will tell you what it'll take to get the NPC to do what you want. Okay. What's your soul? Four. Okay. Quick 
shuffle. It all just misses on top. Yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Four cards. Okay. One, two, three, four. Edge, edge, miss, miss. Well, okay. Could have <laughs> gone better, but I got an edge. All right, what happens on an edge? On an edge, the GM will tell you what it will take to get the NPC to do what you want. Do it, and they will. Okay, so Opal is looking on the situation and is smart enough to quickly have pieced together what actually was going down. That the warden, while not keeping himself together, also was not wrong in thinking that he was under threat, and these people were likely here to do him bodily harm. She's currently eyeing Erica with quite a bit of worry. She needs to be convinced that helping Leo is for some reason more pressing than dealing with this situation, or that you've got the situation handled. Look, I know Erica. I'll go talk to her, and whatever, like, this looks terrible, and I'm sure it actually is terrible, but I promise we'll figure out what happened, and I will make sure it doesn't happen again. So she looks at you for a second. She reaches in under her coat. She pulls out her gun. Okay. She gives you trouble. You know how to use this. Yeah, you taught me how. Yeah. You don't hesitate. Okay. And then she rushes forward, puts pressure on Leo while other people start help to take him away where she might be able to do something more for him. Okay. Leaving you standing there along with Erica. I think probably Percy and Sally and Fatima may actually have gone with Leo. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, like I would I would make sure Percy's okay. Like he has not been injured, like yep. I'll check him, but if they're not injured, like I'll I'll tell them to go. Yeah. Yep. I would like to maybe go to search the warden's room. Like if, if he's kind of sure. out of it, maybe it's a good opportunity to maybe get some keys or something that he's left around. Great. Yeah. Great, I'm gonna follow her in there. Great. But... What? What do you want? Oh, do you want to do your search thing first? No, 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 I'm fine. Like, I, like if you're going to follow me, I'm immediately going to okay. stop. Yeah. What, what is it? What? What was that? Did you seriously send people to try to kill him? Look, we both agreed that the warden is dangerous for all of us. Yeah, we didn't both agree to murder him. What are you doing? I'm, I'm really worried. Not for you, for everyone else in the colony. I'm scared that you're not actually a leader. I'm scared you're some sort of monster. Am I opening up to some about my feelings? I think you are. I hate these feelings. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What does it say? When you open up to someone about your feelings or past, draw with soul. On a hit, you both clear a stress. I'm helping you. Okay. And choose one from a list of options. Okay. You have four soul? I have four soul. Okay. Here we go. Two, three, four. Miss, miss, edge, opportunity. I'll take a stress. Okay. And so you don't have to. You could just take that edge, but you want that triumph. All right, so what happens on a triumph? On, okay, we both clear a stress. Okay. So yay. I get to choose one. I can look at any one of their face down cards, ask any question they must answer honestly. And for an NPC, raise their disposition or calm them down. On NPC. So I would like to look at your trauma. And now you still keep it secret. You know what it is, but nobody else would know. Okay. Well, I think if you've already if you've already seen it, I'm I think I'm just gonna reveal it then. If you've already if you already know it. So my trauma is that I'm overbearing. <laughs> so I clear stress when I involve myself in a situation that has nothing to do with me. Like, for example, how the prison is run. Um, but I draw a plus one when I get in someone's face to defend my behavior. So I think maybe I'll do that. What do you do? Yeah, you're gonna do <laughs> I'm going to be like, you don't know the choices that I've had to make to keep this place safe already. Right? And uh, I'm gonna, I'll, okay. I'll draw for that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how that goes. What is your savagery? Uh, savagery is three, so I get four for that. Go. One, two, three, four. An edge, an opportunity, and two misses. So I don't think I want to mark the stress here. I'll just take the edge. Great. So uh, it says on an edge, uh, I have to choose. Either you, or, sorry, you have to choose. Either you mark stress and escalate the situation or concede. <laughs> Whoa, 
Whoa, what? <laughs> what do you mean choices you've already had to make? What are you talking about? The only meaningful choice you've made is that you're going to murder the warden. We agreed he had to go, not that we had to kill him. Is that escalating though? Like, is that enough to escalate it? It's you're clearly that, getting like angry. I'm going to back you into the warden's office and like slam the door. Oh, okay. Where is the gun? It's in my pants. Not in your hand yet. No, not yet. Are you sure? You are escalating, so I the am situation escalating. is becoming more. Yes, intense. I do. I like. I, I don't even realize I have it. Why I'm yes. waving a gun? It yes. is a pulse gun. You don't know if I know how to use a gun. <laughs> Fine. I'm like, just go. Okay. I just put my hands up like, you're right. You're right. I should have talked to you. I'm sorry. He's got a lot of control. He's just got concerns. Like, lessons learned. Let's go. Let's go. You know? Back down. Okay. All right. And I think the scene ends there.